first episode. I'm a little nervous. I don't know if you can tell or not yet, but I'm very nervous. Never done this before. Uh, but I've got my 30 by 40 canvas on an uh, inch and a half profile. Got it from dickblick.com, and if you want to buy canvas and save some money, buy it from there, especially if you're buying bulk pieces, like six or seven pieces, go to Dick Blick. I've already done the background, just a wash of uh, yellow and orange, and I sketched the image and uh, scanned it and projected it. That way I could adjust the size and center it. If you have those tools, I say use them. Or you can just sketch it right on. Uh, a lot of people can do that better than I can. I'm, I'm better at just sketching on paper. You can use some paper plates, get the mixed paint on. Apple barrel paints can be used in black, bright blue, and Christmas green. Cornell wash brush. And the painter's best friend, in my opinion. Uh, if you want to go out and get a good get you a hair dryer. It's the best thing you'll ever buy because if you need to do a lot of detail work like I do, little feathers or whatever you're working on, you don't have to wait for the coat to dry. Instead of 30 minutes, you make it 30 seconds. Just put your first coat on, blow it with the air dryer, the hair dryer, and you're ready for another coat. Also, one of the best things you can do is take a coat bottle, fill it with water, take the cap and drill a hole in it. That way you can Drip little bits of water to change the viscosity of your paint. It's a good little tool to use. Costing nearly nothing. But uh, the first thing I'll be working on is the the neck of the peacock. I don't know if you can see the pencil on there, but it'll start coming out as I start working on it. I don't know how sweaty I look right now, but I'll tell you what, man, it's about 107 degrees out in this garage. <laughs> 